Hello, Steve from the Bone Yard. Um, I'm going to try my first uh, shot at making a tutorial video here. And I don't have any editing software. I don't have any special graphics or any of that stuff. I'm just going to put all these clips together and I'm going to show you how I make um, some witch jars. So I hope you enjoy them. And they're really easy. And I'm going to make a whole bunch of them for my trees out back. They're going to look cool. So. All right, here we go. Enjoy. All right, so I've never done these before, uh, except for, I, I mean, I just did one, and um, it came out pretty good, I think. And I'm going to show you how to take this. It's a regular old mason jar. I got it at Goodwill for 50 cents. I got quite a few of them, actually, for 50 cents. They had a whole bunch of them over there. And I'm going to show you how to make this out of it. All right. So the first thing I did is I took, I have some, just some ruddy brown primer. And um, I kind of messed up the tip a little bit I stuck a uh, piece of wire in there and messed it up so it kind of shoots it out differently but uh, I just sprayed some of it in here just randomly and it just kind of drips down makes a big mess on my table all over my hand I kind of wanted those drips in there. See that? It kind of looks like dried up blood already in there. Kind of gross. Kind of cool. And then I just took some regular flat. Black spray paint and I just dash that in there too as well just to kind of muddy it up in there a little bit. Don't want too much in there, I just want to kind of cloud it up a little bit. And then I painted the top of it. And again, don't worry about Making it pretty. I got a couple drips going down the side. It kind of looks cool. I like it. A little dirty. And we'll let that dry. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back inside now. I've got my jar and it dried and it's looking pretty gruesome. And, um, you know, I decided to show this today because I looked up witch jars on um, YouTube and didn't see too many tutorials on them um, and the other one I did see was Chris Baker's uh, from Hotcast and this is pretty much the same deal I just have a different way of stringing mine up but uh, he did his with a hot glue gun some rope I got this rope at uh, a drugstore here in town it was like three bucks for 50 feet of it so pretty cheap and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started just do a little bead right around the bottom just to get you started I did hot glue the end of this so it wouldn't fray Let me just put it right around the edge there just to get it started and just keep right on going all the way around Oops. And like Mr. Baker said hot glue gun what comes out of the end of it hot glue so please be careful of your fingers because it does burn I 
Just keep going around. Okay, so I got the rope on there, glued the end of it down really good. Um, didn't go stingy with the glue, so it's on there really good. Now what I did is I took this rope, and this is some over from the last one, and I just took a strand of it off, like that. And of course you can make these as long as you want or as short as you want. Of course you want to make some longer and some shorter. But then these actually break again into three more pieces. So I unravel them. too far. I just want to kind of that looks pretty good. And I just hot glued the top here to keep it from unraveling any further. Like so. And we'll give that a second to dry and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I've got the three pieces, and I'm just going to glue them right to the sides, just like this, just like that, and just like that. Pretty simple. Tilt it over here. Ouch, son of a bitch! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Boy, isn't this exciting. It's like watching glue dry. Wow. Except for this is getting cold. It's not really drying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Arians helped me film everybody, so. All right, so I'm gonna do this three more times. I'm gonna try to get them so they're evenly placed around the jar, so the jar hangs straight. And I guess as you're making these, you can kind of uh, make some that hang crooked too, if you want. by just making the string a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. It's just, just an idea that just popped into my head, so maybe on a couple of these I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so there it is, dry, ready to go. And the last thing we're going to do is I've got um, Krylon Leather Brown. We're going to dirty up this rope a little bit just because we don't want it to look new. And make it look dirty and gross.
We're going to let that dry. It'll just take a few minutes. And we will back to show you what they look like finished up. Alright, so here they are finished up. Um, I just dropped a couple of tea lights in there and I've been using these tea lights through some other props that I've made. So they're not uh, as bright as they could be and I have a light on so that you can kind of see the details in them and I'll turn the light off in a second show you what they look like glowing. And of course I'll have spotlights probably orange or yellow shining up on them too when they're hanging in the trees. But yeah, they look pretty good I think. Let me turn this light off real quick. Yeah, there they are. All right, comment, let me know what you think. Um, subscribe to my channel. And everybody out there, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.